What is up, my dudes? Hello, YouTube. How are you doing? Uh, we're back with another Total War Troy Mythos video. Uh, we're going to be talking about centaurs some more. I've got a nice little battle lined up for us here. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a shorter video. I'll just be basically doing this fight, and then we'll do like a campaign update afterwards. Um, not much has happened since last time, but, you know... Um, Something really cool happened, so I, I brought you guys back a little bit earlier, um, so you could kind of see what we got going on here. So, I've already got my army deployed, we just finished killing the Corinthians, uh, so we're a little bit tattered, but this random army appeared in the middle of my territory, um, called the Mother's Dispossessed, um... And they're, they're a Hydra army. So, if you don't know, in Mythos, there's uh, three major mythical creatures that they've added. The Griffin, the Cerberus, and the Hydra. Um, so, I do believe that these are, and I'm actually really certain, that these are unique Hydra units. So, I wanted to get over here and check these guys out with you. So, you see here... They're kind of zombie-ish. They're like they've got like venom and poison f dripping off of them and stuff. You can kind of see on their faces. And these are Hydra archers. Now you can check out those stats if you want. I'm not gonna go over them. Um, but yeah, they are pretty darn cool. I like the little little hats. Um, archers in this game typically I find to be a little on the underwhelming side. I prefer javelins, javelin throwers. But yeah, see, look at that. The the pale green with or pale they're pale with like palish green hands. Disgusting. There's some more over here. Um, I think they have a yeah. There's a unit of heavy spearmen here. Uh, these are Hydra defenders, I do believe. Agamemnon. There we go. Yeah, Hydra defenders. And they have they look like they said they they share the same model and they're just heavy spearmen you know they've got the the bronze plates the big tower shields and the oh wow look at their spear tips that's cool twin tip spears it looks like it's got poison on them these are drinkers of venom i do believe these are the chaff these are their like peasant mob um but uh they have poison they've got regeneration i think that's pretty much true for all the hydro units uh, the drinkers of venom, uh, as these are. Very cool. Oh, they have little squiggly, like, Stygian knives. Very nice. Serpent worshippers and their squiggly knives. What's up with that? And that looks like all we have. We've got... Drinkers of venom, Hydra archers, and Hydra defenders. And they are vastly outnumbered here. Um, but they kind of outquality us. Uh, these are tier one spearmen. I did I did manage to get some tier three spears, so these are our shielded spearmen. Uh, along with the blessings of Athena, they've got a pretty good stat line for how early in the game we are. Sixty three melee defense, and I don't think it's even turned ten yet. Uh, pretty nuts. We can go over that in the campaign overview. Uh, we're still rocking these centaur fighters, but I did pick up a couple of centaur hunters. Uh, they're 360 degree javelin skirmish cav. They seem pretty dope. So, uh, real quick, let's go over the battle plan. We are going to tank them with these four units, and then we're going to flank them with these four units. Uh, while also flanking with the centaurs, the centaur skirmishers. Uh, the slingers, they're just going to uh, be shooting the archers outright. I'm pretty sure we outrange them. Let's see, we have 160 range. Yeah, we outrange them just a little bit. Um, while the skirmishers, the javelins, are going to be going for the side flanks and hitting them in the in their sides for some bonus damage. And of course, Agamemnon is just going to charge the center. Oh, let's look at the map. Got a giant axe and a shield here, giant sword. I want to see something other than uh, giant, like, armor pieces, but it's still really cool. Really distinguishes the uh, silhouette. And, I mean, the battle maps for Troy were already gorgeous uh, beforehand, and now they're just... Got that little touch of mythology, which really makes them shine. So without further ado, let's get it. We're going to try and weave our way between these two mud pits. Um, but the cav, I'm going to send them through. I'm actually curious to see if mud slows down cav. It says it slows down heavier units and reduces their combat effectiveness. Well, these are light cavalry. 
These are light cavalry. Let's see. Pay attention to their stats. If their speed goes down from 100. Oh, oh yeah, down to 61, and their melee defense got, like, cut in half. Wow, okay. So large units, I guess, count as heavy units, even though they're light cav. That makes sense. Um, I don't think I have any... Are you light? You are. I assume you wouldn't be affected by the mud, per se. Looks like they're diverting some troops over here. We're going to just kind of draw them as far away from their main host as possible, then, if they're going to try and deal with these centaurs. Uh, the javelin throwers, by the way, they appear to have the same model. They might have a different javelin or something. I want to get... Yeah, they have shorter spears. Javelins. Ugh. Sora. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and rush up there. I'm pretty sure they still have a unit here in the trees. If not, 100 speed, we can get over there in a jiffy, even if it is through the trees. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really wanted to send the centaurs over to this side. Oh, well. Alright, let's go ahead and start the slinger fire. See their green arrows for the poison. Ah, this must be the poisoned effect. The respectable amount of damage. The foe has shited your hidden units. Alright, send the centaurs around. Send the javelin men to the sides. These swordsmen were not meant to be there. Our flank's going to take a really long time. Need to turn guard mode off on these slingers. It's actually incredibly uh, important. We shut these down. And I need to get these skirmishers here because these heavy Hydra defenders will just wreck us. Looks like we're doing good here. We did right down the middle as well. Go help Agamemnon, please. Get some bonuses there for our troops. This is fine. You can just kind of set up right there. Yeah, see, we shooting these, even though these are like 55 armor, heavy spear and shield infantry, these armor-piercing javelins shooting them in the back didn't stand a chance. They did not stand a chance. These skirmishers need to not be here. There we go. We broke their Hydra archers there. Try to keep these skirmishers from being in melee. Looks like we should be pretty good once Agamemnon kicks this guy's butt. Get him, Agamemnon. Victory is close enough to You gonna take that, dude? Yeah, run away, coward. I was winning anyway. So there we go. Nice fight. Um, those That poison did a lot more damage than I was expecting. And look, Agamemnon almost died. Yikes. Uh, luckily, we're not at war with anybody else. So that's cool. Yeah, I really like those new models for the um, Hydra units. They're pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Didn't really get a whole lot of kills, though. Need that bronze. We're getting real low on bronze. Uh, let's go ahead and get... I'm not really immediately fighting anybody. Let's take the resources. A little bit of bronze, a lot, a little bit of food. A natural progression. That should advance our quest. Heading off. Apparently not. Do I have to kill, have to, like, kill them? Kill them? Kill them? I probably have to just outright destroy them. Okay, let's see here. Eight morale to all units and heroes aura. Minus 15% uh, attrition. More income from raiding. Punishment when raiding. Incurs raiding no longer incurs movement penalties. Increases the success chance of stealing spoils from the fallen following a victory. 20% increased movement range of hero's army after battle. I like that one, so we'll do the plus 8 morale. And then we'll get the 20% more uh, movement range after we fight a battle. I actually like that one a lot. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll trespass here. It doesn't matter. 
see. It's actually more scary than the last fight. Because I didn't kill any of their units. I should have. I should have run, run them down with centaurs. I'm afraid if I had a resolve, then Agamemnon's going to die. Let's go ahead. We'll do a twofer. Do a twofer fight this time around. We're just going to rely more on the centaurs this time, I think. Mm, you hear... Same strat. Worked out really well last time, so. Be a bit more uh, conscientious with our flanks, though. Let's go ahead and, like, prep them a little bit. Swordsmen are a lot faster than uh, spearmen, so it can get a little messy. And do that. And the Suntor is on this side. And Agamemnon's just going to kind of chill in the back. He's going to lead from the rear. You know what I'm saying? Alright, that should be everybody. Let's go ahead and start our advance. Whoa! Look. Very good. Speed this up. About right there, I'd say. Incorrect. I love the look of the heavy spears. Oh, these are just medium spears, but you know what I'm saying. I like their little hats. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Hydra defenders are still chilling back there. Bring these swords around. Go ahead and get our centaur hunters onto these guys. And then the javelin thrower is shooting the hydra defenders in the back. Also need to get a good flank on these Hydra Defenders. Go ahead and hit these guys. Actually, I should send one after the hero. Shattered real, real fast. Sons of Akia. Go. Get stabbed. the Pokey Brigade. These guys are still holding strong. Kind of waiting on them to break. Oh, hello. Turn off guard mode. It's pointless to use slingers to shoot heavy uh, armor. They, they have like one AP damage. Two, sorry. Two AP. That reminds me. I wanted to check real fast. What is our unit size? Large. Okay. That's fine. I kind of want to put it up to extreme and see how that does, but, you know. I just grab some of these centaurs and finish off these hydro archers. The stab. Overall, I think... <sighs> I don't know if the centaurs just don't have the animation or if they're bugged or what, but Your hero is under I've been a little attack. underwhelmed with the uh, the centaur charges. Uh, they don't do any leaping, no jumping, no stabbing uh, that I've seen, uh, but maybe I've just missed them. But GG, easy, easy clap. So yeah, I wanted to show you that the mother's dispossessed. I had a mission to destroy them, so now they're destroyed, so let's see what happens. At least they should be destroyed. 
Marching on. There they go. Destroyed or confederated. Yeah, this was the mission we got. So it says, For years in the Argive lands, the destitute and hopeless have been leaving loved ones behind to despair in the, uh, the nearby marshes, as if that held to them something more precious than their families. Returning now and nearing your lands, they have passed by their former homes without a glance, led by a man no one remembers, one as if born of the marshes themselves. He speaks of some nebulous mother he serves. He speaks of a deeper truth hidden behind the seeming insanity. Uh, though, though one doubts it, looking at his empty eyes, his viridescent skin dripping from its pores, a greenish poison, sap slow and hissing. What does he want? You could take him and learn, but you would have to vanquish him first. Take him and learn, but you have to vanquish him first. Okay, well, I destroyed them. Love the artwork, by the way. See, their symbol's even a hydra. Wait, what was the reward for that mission? Wait. Hydra Priest available in Special Recruitment Pool. Which I believe King is this. Agamemnon. Hydra Priest. Spellcaster. Low armor poison attacks. Now you piqued my interest. Look at that damage. I forget in Troy the damage numbers are kind of inflated. Unit ability poison ritual. After a delay, causes damage and applies potent poison uh, to units in the area. Can affect ally units. Potent poison causes damage over time. Okay, so he has a poison ability. Regenerative mixture. Plus 15 HP per second, 10% stamina. For how long? 40 seconds? Ow. A heal ability in Troy, imagine. Damage over time effect on attacked units. He regenerates. Okay. He costs 1,000 food and 100 gold and only 110 uh, food upkeep. Boys, I do believe this guy's getting in this army. Heck yeah. I don't know what to name him. I'll have to think of something. If you have a name for the Hydra Priest, Our let me know. Let me know in, in the comments. But yeah, okay, so real quick, uh, we're at 17 minutes, so I want to do a campaign update for you. Uh, it is turn 7. We have taken Tyrans. Um, I saved the replay for that fight, and I think I'm going to uh, post a separate video where I go back over the replay uh, and kind of um, redeem myself from uh, the last video in our epic failure. We also killed the Corinthians, which uh, we took Corinth, and Stymphalos, which gave us the entire province of Mycenaica. I don't know how to say these words. Uh, and they also had taken Ergonomics. Ur yeah. Yeah, Ergonomics. Um, which we promptly took from them. And now I'm plotting the betrayal of Argos. We're going to kill Diomedes because I want Argos itself, because we have er uh, Ergonomics here. Um, and then I want uh, Thyroid. As well, Th Theria, however you say that, because that's got bronze, and I don't have any bronze because spearmen cost bronze. The the medium spearmen, Shepherd these boys, the but they are so good. Sixty five melee defense in the early game is disgusting. Only thirty seven melee attack, but they are um, bonus versus large. And they've got 8 AP. I mean, you know, they're tough, though. That's the real thing, is that they're tough, they hold the line, and then the skirmishers and the slingers and the centaurs flank and do all the damage. Um, really, really good. Uh, and those aren't even the best that they're going to get because, let me go over this with you real quick. The way I really like to build Agamemnon is I, I pump up that Athena. You know what I'm saying? Because she gives 20% morale for spear units, 20% melee attack for spear units, and 20% melee defense for shielded units. So that's all going to affect our spearmen. And if you build her temple, she gives... over. Uh, here, let me do it like this so I can show you. She gives uh, plus 6 melee defense for all units on recruitment, and that's permanent. So the spearmen are going to have a permanent bonus of plus 6 um, melee defense which would bring them up to uh, 54. 
And then I also have a statue of Agamemnon, which gives them an additional five melee defense. So that's going to bring them up to, what is that, plus? I'm sorry, I forgot. Yikes. Six and five is 11. Um, so that's going to bring them up to 59 melee defense. Um, plus 20% from Athena as well. Um, and then they're also going to get plus eight more morale. So, yeah, they are going to be super duper tanky. Um, and then eventually we'll even upgrade them to armored spearmen. And they start with 55 melee defense. And it's insane. We're also going to upgrade the Temple of Athena again. And that's going to put it up to plus eight melee defense. So all in all, it would be plus eight and plus five. So it's plus 13 melee defense on these armored spearmen, which is going to be, what is that, 68? Um, the 68 base and then another 20% of that from seat. Athena. So they're just going to be super duper tanky. And I'm going to love it. I'm going to absolutely love it. Are those guys immune to flanking? They are not. The armored swordsmen are though. Or maybe they, they just have improved flanks. Get out of here. They might just have improved flanks. Um, so yeah. Basically, we've taken control of most of the lands around Mycena. We still need to take out Argos, um, which I need to be very careful about because we have plenty to discuss. They have a defensive alliance with Sparta, which I have a military alliance with, and I don't know what's going to happen when I declare war there. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, also, he's got like 21 units here. I only have 19, and I'm trespassing. Should probably go into Mycena. Control the perimeter. Rich there we go. Uh, we also have a priestess, which we've been using to boost our Athena favor. And... Yeah, I think that's really it. We're not at war with anybody. Well, we're still at war with Tyrans, but um, they're all the way down here. And I've ordered Sparta to please attack them. Love this, by the way. I love looking out on the ocean and seeing all these lights and, like, the fires and stuff, dude. Look how awesome that is. Oh, also, I wanted to mention, uh, Argos has giants, which I don't believe was always the case. Um, it seems to me that they've really, like, made sure almost every province has some form of mythical creature that you can recruit from it. Like, look, giants, giants, centaurs, 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 giants, they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. At least those ones are. But things like, uh, Spartoi... This is the only settlement I found that has Spartoi. Uh, Minotaurs, I'm pretty sure is just uh, Minoa still. And Nosos. Because that's where the labyrinth is supposed to be. Island of Nosos. Nosos. But yeah. Um, I wonder what that wind effect is. So I just wanted to drop in and uh, show you guys that awesome fight. We're at like 23 minutes, so I think we'll call it here. Um, I Today is the wedding day, so I do have to go and get ready and do all that kind of stuff. So I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and um, I hope you liked it, and uh, I hope you're looking forward to more. So as always, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever the heck it is for you, wherever you are in the world, and I will hopefully see you back here on the next one. Peace, my dudes. Peace.